Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review for U.S. markets trading session, the Friday, 18th of August, 2017. This is a preview uh, for the uh, day ahead, especially given yesterday's uh, butchering in the uh, equity markets. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's uh, look at these stats first of all. Uh, U.S. Uh, markets yesterday um, certainly put to the sword the uh, <laughs> on mass sell-off. Uh, impressive, very very impressive to say the least. Okay, S&P 500 Dow. There was nothing that was left behind. S&P down 38 handles. Dow down 275 points. The Nasdaq down almost two percentage points. I mean that's quite impressive. Either way, we have to deal with the aftermath. Okay, so Asian markets certainly haven't followed through. If you look at the actual uh, stats here, the Shanghai actually finished more or less flat stroke positive. It was just a Nikkei that certainly came under pressure. Now, if you actually bring up the chart of the Nikkei, again, this is just into market analysis, folks. You can see the daily chart, the Nikkei is into support, which in turn obviously is indicating that the USDJPY is into support. Here we go, USDJPY as well. So... That's basically where we stand. Now, USD JPY certainly finding support in this region here, looking to potentially bounce from my perspective. Certainly looking for a, uh, a pop on the 60 minute chart. You can see that we certainly have support as well. Okay, so again, indicating a move higher. That's where we stand. Stand that's the status quo. Okay, so um, USD JPY in the case, both indicating support, looking to potentially pop. In terms of economic numbers for the rest of the day, the US, you have Michigan Consumer Sentiment number, and uh, again, you have Mr. Kaplan speaking. Although Mr. Kashkari yesterday was certainly, uh, and Mr. Kaplan, both of them were on the side of uh, of the dovish stance in terms of rates going forward and uh, talking down inflation, which in turn obviously helps the US equity. Again, terror concerns uh, remain from Spain, but we all know, folks, terror concerns certainly are generally ignored. Charlottesville has been ignored. Russia, North Korea has been ignored. And equity markets continue their march higher. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture. First of all, let's look at the Dow. Okay, Dow Jones, as you can see here, certainly hammered yesterday. In terms of the daily chart, where are we finding support? Previous resistance equals support here. Uh, so again, watch out for that zone. Okay, diagonal trend lines, nothing of, of any importance at present. We've certainly broken this one. So that's basically the level that we're watching out for in terms of the Dow, given the fact that Mr. Trump certainly has disbanded his infrastructure council, his, his general business lobbying council for taxes and, and uh, obviously uh, potential reform. So again, uh, investors certainly seem to have lost confidence in Mr. Trump. OK, so German, the, the Dow itself certainly is indicating uh, it needs to free fall. Uh, slightly more further for any kind of potential support. The Dow Transport is indicating that you are now looking at potential support at the 9100 level. So certainly looking for a, a, a bounce on the Dow Transports. Okay. Now the, the Transports themselves certainly lead the actual um, uh, Dow. Uh, the Dow Transports lead the Dow 30. Now Euro stocks. Uh, so we say sorry. I should the Russell Russell 2000 here is certainly indicating potential support very shortly. Uh, again, you have horizontal support down here at 134. Now, that certainly corresponds with the S&P. S&P support is seen at 24.25. So that's a zone that I'll certainly potentially be looking to go long on the S&P 500, that zone there. So keep an eye on that. Okay, uh, in terms of the uh, smaller time frame, let's just quickly go to the smaller time frame for the S&P 500. 60 minute chart really is indicating you, to you that you are looking at gap fill support at 24.25 and that's the zone that I'll certainly be looking to for, for a potential pop given the fact that uh, the sell-off, uh, I mean a 40 handle sell-off certainly has factored in all the bearish news, okay. In terms of the NASDAQ, now let's just move on to the NASDAQ. Prior to that, let's just quickly have a look at the VIX. The VIX itself is certainly indicating to you that you are now into resistance. You have gap fill resistance here. So when the VIX, VIX is into resistance, you are looking at uh, the market embracing risk. OK, so you are looking for a bullish market. So again, VIX is into resistance. USD JPY is into support. OK, uh, all those factors certainly adding together for a potential risk on move in the equity market. So keep an eye on that. OK, in terms of the uh, the Nasdaq, let's just quickly go back to the Nasdaq here. Biotech as well. Daily chart certainly is indicating potential support. NASDAQ 100 certainly has been sold off quite substantially. 
Okay, so the real support at the moment is at the 5780 zone. So look for a 5780 pop. Okay, looking for a move higher there from 5780 on the NASDAQ. The daily chart as well, you can see double bottom at 5780. If that fails to hold, then you are looking at closing the gap at 5710 below on the actual NASDAQ itself. Okay, uh, and that really is a status quo, folks. I mean, you can certainly look at the price of Apple yesterday as well, certainly sold off. But again, you're looking at retesting the breakout level. And if you generally, when you do retest the breakout level, it's generally considered a, a positive move and you're looking for a, an actual pop higher. So let's keep an eye on Apple. Let's see exactly how Apple reacts and uh, we can then adjust accordingly. OK, so that certainly is your status quo. Uh, again, from my perspective, S&P from that uh, key 2425 level, I'm, I'm certainly long. I'm certainly bullish. And the Nasdaq as well from that uh, key 5780 zone, I'm looking bullish and I'm looking to be long. USDJPY into support, Nikkei into support, VIX into resistance. Everything is certainly lining up for a potential short squeeze. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.